never get enough of this guy. Michael Fabiano here talking fantasy impact of Tom Brady's suspension. I got it all figured out. Okay. You draft Jimmy Garoppolo for the first four games, right? right? And you draft Tom Brady. Problem solved, dude. Done, right? Yeah. Fantasy guru right here, Dan Done. Helly. Here's what I do. I use this as an advantage. I wait on quarterbacks already. Now I can get Tom Brady in, say, the ninth, tenth round, somewhere around there. I've dropped him out of my top ten, but he's number 11. And the quarterback position, Dan, is so deep that I can get Ben Roethlisberger and Brady. I can get Tony Romo and Brady. And if I'm in a deeper league, I can get Teddy Bridgewater and Brady. And, oh, by the way, how about Garoppolo? We're talking about a quarterback who has learned under Brady, learned under Belichick, and let's remember back to 2008, Brady goes out with the ACL, Matt Castle comes in and is a top 10 fantasy quarterback. And if you remember back to Bledsoe being the quarterback, he gets knocked out by Mo Lewis, who comes in, Tom Brady, and well, he's been pretty good in fantasy and reality. Yeah, that he has. Okay, I, and, I, I like where you're going with and this. And when we're talking about the receivers for the Patriots, of course there's going to be a little bit of a drop in value from Brady to Garoppolo. I'm not going to argue that, but Gronkowski scored 30 more fantasy points than the next best tight end last year. He's not dropping. Julian Edelman's not dropping from a 2 or a 3. Brandon LaFell not dropping from a 3 to a 4. You lose Brady for four games, you get him back. Maybe he's the savior of your fantasy football season. If you remember back to last year, Brady's first four games, he averaged nine points a game. After that, he averaged over 21. So he's not over the hill. A guy who can still help you use his absence to your advantage in the draft. So his first four games this year could be weeks five through nine. So then well, it really could be a long season we're for hoping, Tom Brady. We're hoping it's actually one through five. The bye week comes week six against Indianapolis. He's a go.